teenage girls and women trying to battle each other for the thinnest thighs. It is a new trend. It's called thigh gap, essentially creating a gap between a woman's thighs. But nutritionists are warning about this disturbing trend. Certified nutritional consultant and author of The French Twist. This is a great book. The French Twist. Carol Cottrell joining us this morning with more on what this means. Good morning. Always great to great see you. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. So it, it, to me, this sort of is a reminiscent of an anorexia type trend yeah. that we're looking at here. What is this all yeah. about? And it's, it's it seems like a new trend. It's not a new trend. It's been around for a long time. And professionals actually coined the phrase thigh gap as a disorder that accompanies anorexia and other serious eating disorders. So when I hear it as a nutritionist or I see it on Facebook and tagged thigh gap, right. the first thing I think of is disorder and unfortunately young women are thinking trend. Right, Bad. right. Well, and we are seeing it explode on social media right, right now. What do you think is behind this right now? What What is it that these women are sort of going for, or grasping for? I think that, you know, this this is a world where we're just looking for perfection. And, and I you know, I think that if someone is measuring the distance between their thighs, it's really not about that. It's, it's uh, an obsession that takes them away from maybe the things that really are bothering them in life. What type I think it's of deeper. extremes are you seeing people go to? Well, here's the problem, Amy. You know, thigh gap is is really a function of, of your body structure. Mm -hmm. So not everybody can have a gap in their thighs. If their hips are not wide and their pelvic area is not wide, their pelvic bones, then they're not going to have a thigh gap. If they have wider hips, then they have a chance of a thigh gap. So these gals are working at this thigh gap that may not be attainable for them because of their body structure, and they're, they're desperately dieting uh, to no avail. What about healthy alternatives? If you really, I mean, if you're just about creating a, a better, healthier body, what are some healthier alternatives they can do? Well, you know, I think that we've got to get back to moderation and exercising for the pleasure of it and to feel our bodies move. You know, when we were kids and we exercised and, you know, our moms would call us to come in and we didn't want to come in because we were having fun around it right. instead of this punitive mindset. I, I think it's... It's really a horrible thing. At what point do you know that you need to seek help? I mean, is there a point where you should say, look, there's something going on with me, psychologically speaking, and I need to seek help for this? You know, and I think this is what makes it hard because we're seeing this as a trend, like it's a fashion thing. Right. Hashtag thigh gap. And, and um, it, I think that it really has got to start at home. Parents have to start monitoring this behavior. And at some point, if, you're, if your child's not getting the help they need, maybe you do need to seek psychiatric yeah. help of yeah. some kind. And hopefully, you know what I was thinking, maybe if we can do things like uh, hashtag no thigh gap, no problem, and create sites that counteract this, this trend and, and have ways for girls to find help. All right. You always have such good advice. Carol Cottrell, always great to see Thanks. you. Thank you, you again. Also of the book, The French Trust, it's a great book. Pick it up. Thanks for being Thank here you. this morning.